Right now I'm measuring to make sure that my first set of four joists, this joist and this joist, is going to fit correctly in between these two spaces. I know that the far end is 16 feet. So I need a consistent 16 feet from that corner down this 24 foot side. Same with this other one over here. I need a consistent 16 feet from outside to outside. So right in the middle here from the outside of each should meet in the middle at eight feet. This is where my first joist is going to go. Right in the middle, it's off by about an eighth. Now I know that this board in the middle is centered. This 24 foot side that I'm looking at now This 24 foot side can go out an eight. These two boards are three inches and a quarter. This inside board is a solid inch and a half. This inside board is a solid inch and a half. So there's a quarter inch of space somewhere in here and I'm pretty sure it's this crack down here. But I've figured that if this is three inches, which it's a little bit over three inches, these floor joists these floor joists should be 91 and a half inches to equal eight feet from the outside to this side and keep the middle at eight feet. The same on the other side. I know these boards have a good gap in there and it's measuring three three and three eighths this one is measuring an inch and a half but even both of these added together it's three and a quarter or so so this gap in between here is adding a little bit of space going to keep it a consistent 16 feet with the board the joist I'm going to keep the joist at I'm going to keep the joist at the 91 and a half inches and then I'm going to put them in here I'm going to see where we're at so the next step is to get some Simpson strong ties here here, here, and there. Of course, I've got those clamps on there to try to reduce the space between those two boards. I don't know how well it's working. Thought I'd give it a try. Right now, it's probably got a lot of wood shavings down in the middle of it and everything. But I'm gonna put on the strong ties and, whew, boy, that's a issue in itself. This is how I start off my Simpson strong tie. These things are kind of a pain in the butt. But 
as you can see, they start off like this. I got a piece that I've cut off of one of my joists. Put my clamps on here. I can hold it in place. Now I line it up, standing overhead, and then I secure it.
Took some finagling and some cutting, but it's finally 16 feet all the way across. I believe there's about an eighth of an inch gap in the middle, because I'm actually coming an eighth of an inch over. But I'm not going to let that bother me too much, because there's discrepancies in the wood, and there's a gap, and I've cut and recut and tried to get this perfect and an eighth of an inch off, I think I can live with. All right, it's time to move on to the next one, which is going to be sitting on these pillars right here. And now I'm going to measure and cut to size from now on. Went back and cut this one to size, and now from outside to outside, 16 feet on the dot. There it is for now. Still got these last, I think that one, I don't know. I got one set of, of these particular joists to put in and then I'm going to put up some some strips along the bottom so I could put plywood down in there silicone the edges and put insulation in there after I get the rest of the floor joists put in which are going to be two by eights by eights those are all two by tens and there's two two by eights that go in between each one of them those will go in after I put in the treated plywood on the bottom so I'm gonna need four eight twelve sheets of plywood to go in the bottom then the rest of the floor joists then 12 sheets of plywood to go on the top then the walls then the roof etc that's what i got done today though <laughs> 